Hey everyone, it's Bill from Old Format. Today I'm going to jump on a thread um, that Chris Profi at Musically Obsessed started a week ago. The uh, thread is called Play Your Numbers. And what that means is we've been asked to show uh, five albums, records, CD, cassette, etc. Um, and what you do is just anything that has a number in it, it could be a band name, it could be an album title, it could be a song. Uh, so I picked six, actually, because I am going to throw in an honorable mention, just because I got to uh, put these guys out there. They were the first thing I thought of, even though um, they don't really fit the motif. Now, there's not really a motif. You don't have to go one, two, three, four, five. Um, Chris didn't, and it looks like no one really did. Everybody's just kind of showing anything that has a number in it. Um, so I'm going to throw this in as an honorable mention just because I can't not show it. Um, it's actually the same record from my unboxing if you checked out my unboxing video the other day that's right ladies and gentlemen queen's reich promised land and this time around you can see it there's no glare for two reasons uh a if the window is closed and b you know the plastic is off but that was an unboxing so it was still wrapped in plastic but anyways the reason i'm making queen's reich's promised land promised land an honorable mention is because this this album starts, you can't, can you see that? It starts with a song called 9.28 a.m. Not, well, I guess it's not a song. It's like a kind of a prologue to uh, I Am I, which is the song that I remember from back in the day. So, uh, <clears throat> anyway, that's my honorable mention. Queen's Right Promised Land, 9.28 a.m. And now we're going to start... Uh, with the actual, oh, there fell on the ground. Well, it was already on the ground, but it fell over, so I'm just going to put it over here. Okay, <clears throat> now we start with the actual uh, numbers. Like I said, um, you don't have to go one, two, three, four, five, but I will. First up, this is a recent uh, purchase as well. It's a great album, especially from these guys from the 1990s. Um, not a lot of bands would be able to put out an album this good so far into their career, but they did. Pink Floyd, The Division Bell. Again, 1994. Um, so the, uh, the song that I picked, and I had to pull out the sleeve, because this is one of those weird records where uh, no songs, it's just... It's actually, it's interesting because it's the album cover four different times. Uh, there you go. Three and four. So it's backwards uh, or upside down. Sorry. Reminds me of Van Halen's 1984, the way they did that. So I pulled out the sleeve and the song is Cluster One. There you go. One. So now we're going to do CDs, because he did say that CDs and tapes were kosher. He said show whatever. So number two, The Doors from Strange Days. And we're going to go with Love Me Two Times. There you go. It's number, I can't see that it's backwards. It, my camera is backwards, but anyways. You can see it on there somewhere. Number three. There you go. I knew it was on there somewhere. Love Me Two Times. Next up, um, I'm going to pick a band that with a number um, because the first two were songs with numbers. Number three is a band. 311. And this is a greatest hits. And, and uh, I guess you could count the title as well. It is greatest hits. 93 oh, two, 93 to 03, so there's three threes in there. So I guess you can consider that a double whammy if you want. Um, four, 
is one of my favorite bands of all time. Stone Temple Pilots, number four. Uh, there's a couple of uh, bands that had a number four album called Number Four Foreigners. The other one I can think of. Um, but there you go. That's SDP with number four. There's the band. There's the CD. And just for the hell of it, the track listing, I can just show you that for like a few seconds. And finally, number five. Yeah, what can I say? Pop music, but I like it. Maroon 5. Another um, band with the name... Or, or <laughs> sorry, with the number and the name. Uh, came out 2014, so it's one of my newer ones. Because I don't have, like, 2018, 2019, 2020... Uh, as you can see, I got a lot of stuff from like the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and these are all my like 90s, 2000s vinyl. And then this is a mix of like older records and Laserdisc, believe it or not. I might show those someday, you never know. Anyways, for now, this is Bill uh, saying check out Chris Profi's channel, and uh, thank you for tuning in. Take care.